Day three and through you three. I'm Rene Dam. Uh, I'm the lead developer on the input team here at Unity. Uh, when we started, with Unity being an engine that tries to make multi-platform development an easy thing, um, there was a lot to do on that front to make things consistent between the many, many platforms. Then with the XR space picking up speed, like we got a lot, a lot, a lot of new development in the input space. So for one, the existing system has quite a, had quite a few shortcomings, like in terms of uh, extensibility, in terms of uh, being able to customize the system to your needs, in terms of ease of use. There was also the need for a much more modern solution to address the needs of a world that it frankly had changed. One of the key abilities that we wanted the new system to have is to be able for anyone to build support for new devices and it looks just the same as support that we build ourselves. In other words, uh, extensibility and customizability of the system. Uh, the fact that we wanted a system that no longer just does all its processing internally, but rather does everything out in the open. You see everything that goes in and comes out. And then finally, uh, ease of use, we wanted a system that um, just with Unity, uh, putting so much value on workflows, with the addition of player input, it makes input available in, like, in a very direct uh, and standardized Unity form. So right now, in terms of device support, uh, we were going for getting the baseline across all the different forms of devices and platforms. So all the standard devices on every platform. With touch, we knew that um, at the baseline, we want to touch to exist in the same world. Uh, so that is the baseline, and uh, we have a touchscreen device that is a device like everything else. It integrates with the system. You can bind to it from actions. You have touch histories, you have tap recognition. There are a lot of features in there that make even like polling for touches specifically a lot more convenient and a lot easier. So local multiplayer has proven uh, an extremely popular uh, request with, uh, with the input system. So we developed uh, like a wrapper around the input system that handles a local multiplayer in very easy ways where you can just instantiate multiple players and the system automatically handles uh, device pairings. Um, it's easy to set up uh, and it will also we'll get more and more flexible, uh, more and more uh, customizable. But we, uh, at this point, I think we have a good baseline foundation for local multiplayer. We also have the goal of making our data formats very simple uh, and uh, accessible both uh, at design time and at runtime. It's just simple, plain JSON, and you can even write it by hand uh, as a program if you want to. At this point in the project uh, life cycle, we think we are at a point where the system is viable for a wide variety of applications. Um, it has good baseline support for, for game pads, uh, has a, like a good solid foundation for touch, uh, for XR. Um, so I think in terms of foundation, we are at a point where we have something that um, provides a really good base for many, many types of applications. 